So good afternoon folks, Richard here, the Tech Chef. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about 3D printing. Not something I normally do videos about, but I've decided to do a video series about the Soval SVO1 um, 3D printer, which I've just bought. I've had it about a week. and I've done a couple of mods to it, and I think for the sake of, of sharing, um, I'm going to do a little video series on all the mods I've done and how to do them, just so that anybody else who's interested or has a Soval and who is interested in making or doing some of these mods can just follow along and most of them will be pretty simple so when we come back we're going to start printing so welcome back so one of the first things we need to discuss is how i'm going to actually edit the code in in Marlin. There's two ways of doing this through the Arduino IDE which you can download it from the arduino.org site or you can get another application called um, Visual Studio Code which you can download from this website um, code.visualstudio.com code um, If you don't know how to do this uh, just drop me a line or drop me a message in the comments below and if there's enough interest, I'll create a, a video on how to install and get yourself ready using Code Visual Studio. But I'm going to already assume for this video that um, you have already installed either Visual Studio Code or Arduino IDE. And we're going to get straight on to the actual editing of the code for the NeoPixel LEDs. So the first thing we need to do is obviously once we're in the Visual Studio, um, is we're going to open up the folder where our Marlin sits and we're going to open up the Marlin and we go to the Marlin folder and in the Marlin folder you'll see there's two files that we really use for most of the configuration. One is going to be the uh, configuration H and the one is the configuration underscore ADV dot H. Both of these H files are editable and will enable us to find what we want to do and change the codes or define them which means we're going to switch them on basically commenting for all intents and purposes when I when I refer to commenting it means that I'm going to comment something out and that switches it off and when I say defining it I'm going to uncomment them um, and it'll switch them on so let's go look for if in our case we're going to try and work on the neo pixels so we know that it's a, a RGB um, multi or programmable LEDs. So let's go have a look if we can find those. And here we'll see that when it when the search comes up, it actually comes up with this with the. Uh, let me try that again. I'm in the wrong one. Let's go to H RGBW, which will be easier to find. So this section here, right down at line two thousand one hundred is the section which deals with RGB lights and LED strips. Um, normally when as it comes packaged this will be, this line here will be defined where it says RGB LED. So don't mistake that for meaning that um, this has got to do with a NeoPixel LED. There's two different types. There's one that say RGBW and those are red, blue, green and white LEDs which can be used but it's just a little bit harder to configure and there's a lot more you need more than one pin available and unfortunately on the Soval board there is only one pin available and we'll get to that in a sec so and so and so comment that one out make sure that those two lines are commented out underneath that you'll see these lines here are also normally comment are also normally defined just simply because they they're assuming that we're going to be using red green blue and white LEDs but we're not in this video we're only going to be dealing with NeoPixel so make sure that all these lines here are commented out so that it doesn't actually switch on the RGB or RGBW light LED lighting what we're looking for is the support for RG, RG3 NeoPixel LED drivers so we want to then say we want it to be able to use it, the NeoPixel so that there is commented out at the moment so let's switch it on we'll comment that we'll define that and there's a couple of other things we need to change in this little area here. You'll see here it's telling us to define the NeoPixel pin. 
Now I already know from having been searching for this and, and trying to get some support from the Soville guys themselves. Um, it's a very closely guarded secret as to their pinouts for this board. But um, we went and found the pins, so I know that it's pin 12, so just take my word for it. The NeoPixel, it says define NeoPixels and how many do you want. In my case, I'm using 45 NeoPixels. You could be using four, or in fact, you could use up to eight and run those eight LEDs directly off the, the Soval um, or the Creality 2.1 board. Any more than that, you're going to need to power those LEDs with an external source. And in my case, because I'm using 45 um, NeoPixels, I've decided to use a 24 volt to 5 volt buck converter and I've and installed that so the positive and the negative from the LED strip go straight to the buck converter which is in turn connected to the 24 volt power supply the only thing that goes to the board is the signal pin which is going to go from the NeoPixel strip to the board so it goes directly from the strip to the board at pin 12 and pin 12 is the one that's right next to if you have a BL touch installed it's the one that's right next to the BL touch on the right hand side of that pin um, so that's pin 12 I'll show you a diagram in a second of what that looks like so the other one that's normally um, commented out would be this line here so that would normally be commented out to say um, NeoPixel startup test so basically what that do, does is it runs through a startup test and it goes green, red, blue in sequence just to tell you that the printer is starting up so we want to see that when we're starting up the printer just so that we know that our, our NeoPixel is actually working so I'm going to leave that one as it is the only other thing we need to then do is to make sure that in this this line here you'll say see it says to you which um, of the channels do you want to use make sure that yours is GRB and not GRBW um, that would uh, that's how it would normally come with a GRBW like that but we only want the GRB, the green, red, and blue. And other than that, everything else in this area is done. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is actually do the physical mechanical connection of the buck converter to the um, LED strip. And that's pretty much done. If anybody wants anything more or a more in depth view of how I got, um, as I said, how I got to the Code Visual Studio installation and all that. Just drop me a line in, in the messages below. And if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and um, look forward to making the next video in this series. Uh, by the way, once you've done that, you can then save this file, um, compile it, and then upload it to your to your drive to your printer. I use Cura just for simplicity to upload my. Uh, firmware.hex file. So yeah, like I said, enjoy the day.